Oh, wow. We are extremely close to some Plains Bison right now. Doesn't look like we're in view of any males. Ooh, besides him, actually. You know what? We might try and take him because he's the only one visible to us right now. So. Oh. Oh, wow. We'll throw one in her. Just, wait, that way we at least get one down. And she's mad at us, but she is down. Wow, that really did not go to plan at all, man. The good news is those guys should come back. So we can set up in one of those trees right there and just wait it out. Yeah, that really didn't go to plan. I was creeping over this hill. I knew they were sleeping around here somewhere, but I really did not expect them to be that close. Nonetheless, we did make a beautiful shot on the female bison. Every bison counts though, man. Maybe at some point, one of these bison that we kill will respawn as a level five. I want a diamond plains bison so bad, but I've yet to get one. I've killed like two level five trolls, uh, but still no normal, you know, diamond plains bison. And it actually does look like they are turning around now. That is the level five or not the level five that is the male that i wanted sorry so i'm just gonna go get up in one of these trees and see if i can wait for him to come back i think we're just gonna throw a shot at that guy and we dropped him i think we hit that one right there in the butt i was not meaning to hit that one but we did um you know what let's see if we still have a view on that level three or that level whatever we shot Yep, he just went down. He just went down. I wanted to finish him off. That way I don't have a wounded freaking Plains Bison just to run around here. Managed to get a beautiful shot on him, 73 meters out. And, uh, uh-oh, we got, we got a problem. Get away from me. Look, when that freaking tracer gl glows, it makes him look like he has red eyes. That's crazy looking. Yeah, scram. Get out of here, losers. That's how you fend off a pack of wolves with a bow. All right, let me clean up this mess, and let's go find some more planes, Bison. Well, we have snuck up on another herd. When this guy actually sees me or hears me, something over there. Let's do this. Boom. Smacked him. Looked like that was a pretty solid shot. Yes, it was, apparently, because he is going down. Maybe we can make a running shot. Nah, we're not that good with the bow. That one, that one hit pretty perfectly though. It looked, yep. Look at that tracer right there behind the shoulder. You may have noticed that I did put the dog away for this video. I don't really like bow hunting while using the bloodhound. I feel like he just gets in the way. He gets annoying. You, you can't hear over him sometimes. I don't know. I don't really prefer bow hunting with the dog, but here we go. Here is another level three down. Just look at the penetration of the 600 grade arrows with the uh, cotter here. I think this is one of the better bows in the game because of its draw weight or whatever. It's 65 pounds. I believe the hawk hedge has the hawk hedge, the hawk edge has a 70 pound draw weight so that's most likely like the best bow in the game honestly i've used them all and i never really had an issue with any of them they all get the job done just fine and here is our female that we got on the run or on the trot i guess beautiful double lung shot pretty much went all the way through her oh hey this is uh kind of funny to see you walking through the woods like that mister no you better get back here got him that was actually a pretty sweet shot there, the way he was just running and I got him through the bushes. Maybe I'm not so bad with the bow. <laughs> Let's not jinx ourselves yet, I guess. What a shot. Look at the penetration. These damn 600 grain arrows have so much penetration. It went completely through the lung, all the way through the guy's neck and into his face. Like, what? And it, meant, and it caused us to mess up the trophy organ. That is nuts. These 600 grain arrows do not play around at all. Well, it also does appear that our bad luck from Tawara did actually follow us over here to Yukon Valley as well, because all we're finding is level three planes bison. If you guys haven't seen my last like two videos or whatever, the ones of me hunting on Tawara, that's basically all we've killed is level three animals. I'm not complaining though. It's a lot of fun shooting these things with the bow. Oh, there he is. That's him. I did not realize that was him. Wow. Come on. That's him. Whoa, why the heck does it do that, dude? When you aim in, it like flicks you around in a 180 or whatever. That's really weird. He is going down. He has just two little females with him. We're not even going to worry about. And let's go claim another level three. <laughs> 
I feel something coming though. I feel like we're gonna get a diamond very soon. We're just having a little streak of bad luck lately. That's all. Wow. Look at the penetration, man. It's just unreal, these 600 grain arrows, dude. Look at that. It goes through them like a hot knife through butter, literally. Target acquired. Well, there's actually two. There's one slightly up the hill here. You can't really see them and are sent both level threes. I don't know if there's anything hiding behind these trees here. I haven't really been able to see yet. I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure it's just these two guys and a level three moose, but <laughs> we're not worried about him. You guys also may have noticed that I did fail my 30 day upload challenge. I think we made it to like day 14 or something, which I'm pretty proud of. 14 days of uploading Call of the Wild every single day. Yeah, uh, I gotta pat myself on the back for that. I think my new schedule though for YouTube is gonna be at least five to six videos a week. So maybe not a video on Sunday and Saturday, something like that. But I do wanna try and stay more consistent because I can tell over the last 14 days of uploading consistently, I could tell my uh, YouTube analytics and everything everything we're showing very positive so that's a very good thing and it's very motivational all right i think this is where we're gonna take the shot i feel like we'll be able to make a pretty solid shot from here oh yep we dropped him and his buddy has no idea i don't even think that shot hit him that one did not very well, though, because he is not losing health. Wow. That sucks. I thought we hit him good. And it looks like we are uh, level levitating. That's always cool. Oh, wow. What a shot. Beautiful shot there. Straight through the heart and the double lung 74 meters out what a what a shot man this is really fun i am actually enjoying the hell out of using this bow with the three pin sight that is i was thinking about putting on the little high tech sight or whatever where it gets the range for you and everything but i was like you know what i want to challenge myself a little bit more and it's not really that hard to hit these big old planes bison anyways so throwing on the three pin was definitely a really good idea it made this a lot more fun yep that one should have went into his lungs just to finish this guy off. And he's aggressive. He's mad at me. Oh. Didn't have enough in you to make it to me, buddy. He died trying, though. <laughs> Where did we hit him, actually? Oh, wow. Very, very bad shot. Very low. Right in his freaking ankle. Yo, chill out, big man. It ain't that serious. It's so one in you, and then your buddies are gonna just leave like that? Yeah, they're just gonna leave you in the dirt, man. You need to get some better friends. Oh wait, you're dead. Can you guys believe what he is? A level three, and we messed him up, wow. Oh, this is one of the other ones that we shot earlier that we made a bad shot on. Okay, and then we just finished him right here. We went through his jaw and basically all the way through and out through his uh his his thing right there well i think that's going to do it for today's video i've pretty much just ran around here and checked all of my plains bison rest zones because i find that to be the best way to hunt them just you know sneak up on them while they're resting maybe in a few days we'll come back out here and hunt the plains bison yet again that's kind of my main goals right now is to get a diamond plains bison reindeer and uh yeah i can't remember the other one that i wanted but yeah we need to get a diamond soon because it's been a while so thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you did enjoy it if you did did, smash the like button let's go for 200 likes on the video i hope you guys can smash that out i bet you can and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one later